Hey everyone, welcome back to the study side. I'm Sunny, and here's your little question for the week, your motivational question for the week. Oh, I just got back in from my jog. I hope everyone's having a super amazing day. I have a story to share with you guys. The question for today is, what's your motivation or what's your inspiration? What's your reason for doing whatever you do? In the new agey nonsense world, guys used to talk about this as, leverage over your fears or leverage over your procrastination and stuff like that that's not what we're talking about today <laughs> you know we don't talk like that anymore. like we talk those are the words we use but that's not what we mean anymore okay you guys ready it's about inspiration you know where are you find now as i tell the story you'll this will sort itself out all right cue the introduction new agey nonsense oh new agey oh i'm working on myself oh oh no i didn't practice my sax yet today but that's okay i'll shoot you whatever <laughs> so so <clears throat> i don't really believe in motivation <laughs> like i believe you just do it anyways uh you have to do what you have to do you decide and then you do it and that's what i believe <laughs> so when the game is when the man says go you should be ready to go. And it's not really time to think or do anything. That's where artistry is. <laughs> art. That's where your art is concerned. But we'll talk about that another day. <clears throat> I want to share with you guys what happened to me today. So it's not about inspiration or motivation or anything. It's more along the little signs on the way that you're doing something right. Or you're where you're supposed to be. Or whatever is whatever. Or whatever is whatever. And so you guys know this video goes out on, you know, another channel here, but on the sunny side, it's a psychic channel. And, um, okay, blah, blah, blah. So here's what happens. For years, <laughs> when I'm jogging, and I don't really like jogging, okay? This is my mom is the big jogger and was really big jogger, a runner. And so for years in Vancouver, when I, I lived there for years, I would run and I would imagine, um, like I'm running with nature. Like I would imagine that the trees are cheering me on and I'd high five the trees and the leaves as I would jog, you know, on the seawall or I'd run through Stanley Park or where if I was jogging through the city. I live in the city. And so I used to do that for years and years. Same thing when I moved up to North Vancouver uh, when I wasn't living by the beach or Stanley Park. Same thing. When I would jog, I would high five the trees and I would imagine that nature is cheering me on. But, but that's me projecting outwards uh, in my own head. But in my own head, there was another thing. Uh, I could feel every once in a while, like there was this energy pushing me from behind. And not forcefully, just giving me strength, you know. And it was a little bit different than feeling light in my body that day. And it is different than feeling fast. And it's different than feeling strong. Those are all like running words, right? Um, it's different than all of that. And I used to imagine like nature or like some universal energy or some like divine energy inspiration was giving me a little push <laughs> from behind, you know, inspiring me saying, go, Sonny, you can do it, Sonny, go, go. And I used to, and then, you know, I always thought my mom was an angel, right? And I was kind of part angel, whatever. And so I would like imagine that like, I would have these angel wings which sprout forth as I was running. Whatever. You run the miles I run. You can imagine the crazy shit you imagine. <laughs> you make a YouTube video confessing the crazy shit that goes through your head. <laughs> so, anyways. <clears throat> so I used to imagine the wings. And the wings would fly on the air. And I would run stronger or faster or not a lot. Or not at all. <laughs> Maybe I would just feel good. And... I would imagine running with my mom. That was the whole point of me running. Like, I like to skip rope. <laughs> hit the bag, you know, hit the bag, swim, skip rope. Running, oh, <laughs> running is supposed to be bad for your gains, man. <laughs> anyways, whatever. And so, anyways, so I used to imagine that, you know, I'd stay in shape so I could run with my mom. And I did. I did. We ran the Chicago Marathon together. And then I came in and ran the Toronto Marathon. She was too sick to run it. And, um, for years, we trained for years together. And, and then for a while, I stopped feeling that energy. 
you know, and, and I stopped feeling it. You know, when I was running around Chicago, we lived downtown Chicago for, I lived right downtown there in the loop for a number of years, and I would run around the park and stuff and by the water. And like, I didn't really feel it, you know? And then here I didn't feel it. And then today, but here's what happened today. Today I went for my run. I started back out on the street again outside last week. Obviously, in the winter, I don't run outside because why should I? I'm not a professional runner. I don't care. <laughs> I like run on the treadmill in the winter. It's my mom is the major runner, and you guys are the major athletes. <laughs> I'm a weekend warrior. It's just every day is weekend for Sonny. <laughs> so, okay, here. so here's the deal. I was running today. I went on my little run. It's not training for any marathons or anything. The next thing is I do, I'm doing a 10K next month with Melina, whatever. And so it's a fun run, right? And so I'm out on the street, and I'm running. And for the first time in years, I felt that energy again. And, you know, I changed the way, I, like, it's, it was really bizarre. And then I thought to myself, could that be my mom? Again, everybody chill out. <laughs> you guys imagine, like, again, put in the miles I put in. You guys have some crazy stuff go through your head, too. And I thought, wow, maybe all this time, this was my mom's energy pushing me along and encouraging me. It was amazing. I'm heavy today. I'm 10 pounds overweight easily. <laughs> so like I'm running slow and I'm running slow and heavy, but I felt the inspiration today for the first time in years and years and years. And it felt really good. And so that's the deal. Did I run faster overall? A little bit. <laughs> I'm running pretty slow right now. <sighs> so that's the deal, guys. And I remembered that today. Today I felt that again. I felt that thing pushing me a little, little bit again. And there was more to it, and it evolved a bit. Like as I was doing that, and I was running and feeling good, the big wind was pushing me uh, in front of me. A headwind. There was a strong headwind. I was like, "Whoa, that's a little weird." And I was imagining overcoming it and all that kind of stuff. Whatever. Oh man. Anyways, that's my action for today. <laughs> I don't know. I guess, guys, you know everything. In its time, you know, space, force, and time. I left you in time, and in time, I will find you again. And that's the answer. I wish everyone the absolute best of a super beautiful day. You know, just take a moment and find yourself as you're walking through the day with whatever you're doing. You know, what inspires you? And what about what you do? Do you like or dislike or whatever? <laughs> Everybody be cool. Wishing everyone the best from the... From the sunny side, Adam Sunny, wish you everyone the best of a super beautiful day. Be cool, everyone. Share the video. Thumbs, you know. <laughs> and I'll see you guys soon.